listening to ComedySlamRadio.com. From our studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So pop some popcorn, grab a smooch buddy, and settle in for another fine show from ComedySlamRadio.com. Some people walk through life without a sense of humor. Others wouldn't smile if you gave them a room full of chocolate and bacon-covered money. Even various establishments forbid laughter. But one woman dared to defy the odds and stand up to the boredom. Seriously Silly with Sharon. One woman's quest to make your funny bone implode with laughter. She goes to any means necessary. Wigs, funny voices, jokes, even the blood of her own children. With her co-host, Tony Backus. And here she is, Sharon Nolan. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Seriously Silly with Sharon on ComedySlamRadio.com. We're coming to you tonight in the studio without my co-host, Tony Bacchus. He's floundering somewhere around another state. I think Texas. I'm not sure. But I do have my wonderful, beautiful son with me in the studio tonight. Where, where's the wonderful, beautiful son? I don't know, but I replaced him with this one I found in the lobby, so I'm all good. That's a good idea. <laughs> wanna go, bro? Oh, God. That's the new saying. Do you want to go, bro? I I, I just... Oh. I don't get the kid's lingo. I just don't get it. Is he trying out for the Jersey Shore or something? <laughs> oh. I don't know. I've never seen that don't show make, in my life, and I never will. I, <laughs> do they say that stuff on that show? Mm-mm. Probably. <laughs> He's guessing. Dear God, no. I hope not. Anyway, okay... Everybody went out and bought their waters and their batteries and their gas lamps and flashlights. And, and their sprites. We got some rain. <laughs> well, no, we got some outer bands of rain. We got some heavy rain. We pulled everything in. Sean pulled everything in. Look at this. Like a man. Like a man. I'm sorry. Like a boss. <laughs> I dragged it in with my sweating t-shirt. Yeah, he wasn't wearing a t-shirt. He was been redneck anyway yeah we pulled everything uh, it's time to put everything back outside again so um i'm glad that uh it kind of went the other way but at the last time you know you got you got to watch this thing you got to be prepared i mean all the neighbors were outside everybody's pulling everything in just in case it decided to turn just like uh charlie did in the last hour so now it winds up uh, new orleans and, and the whole go- gulf <laughs> the Gulf Coast, everything's getting Never hit forget. all over again. And, you know, I was just there uh, not too long ago. And uh, I don't know how much water damage, how much damage this is going to do. But at least it's not a cat four. So hopefully. Yes, Emily, I said cat. Category. <laughs> I can hear her through the wall. Uh, really Category. About that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, uh, Sean. How you doing eating the pretzels? Okay, that says enough about him. He's eating the pretzels. How do you think he's doing? So, uh, here's here's a interesting uh, traffic information update from your local comedian. The RNC is in town. Very sorry for all of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we tried to conjure up the storm. We figured that it would keep them away. It only held them off for a day. So. Um, what do you got to do? You know, you hear that uh, Greg Romney has now uh, grasped the GOP nomination. He has now grasped the GOP. That's nomination? what they said on CNN that Something he's about grass. Grasp uh, with a P, oh. not grass. Oh, I thought I was going to say, man, yeah. if he's he's got Romney a dime smokes bag weed. for the GOP nomination. High. Romney well, smokes weed. <laughs> Romney smokes weed. Spread, tell your friends. I'm still. I still won't vote for him. I don't care. Um, I <laughs> I found uh. I had a, a sound bite that is, uh, it's funny, but yet not funny, but it's, it depends if you're sensitive or not, but uh, I, I got I'm sensitive. You are very sensitive. I know, Gwig. But play it Gwig cries anyway, but I got, I got to play it. The commercials. I have now. to play it. You got to hear this. Just listen. The National Weather Alert has issued a tropical storm warning for the following parishes. St. Tammany, Orleans, 
hand. Jefferson Parish, we are telling you ahead of time to get out of harm's way. We are not sending the buses out to get your stupid asses this time. <laughs> you need to try to gather up all 12 of your kids and get the fuck out of your FEMA trailer that you have been living in for the last six years. Again, the National Weather Alert System has issued a tropical storm warning and a tornado warning. Let me put it in terms you might understand. Get. the Fuck. Out. Run, bitch. Run. Thank you. Oh, God, I had to play that. <laughs> Bitch, run. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And I listened to that earlier. I couldn't stop laughing. I think I got a pretzel stuck in my throat now, just like Bush. Nice. Is that what was wrong with the country? Is that Bush had a pretzel stuck in I his was throat? hoping that he was going to choke. He was watching that football game every years ago, and he got, he got that pretzel stuck in his throat. No. Reading to those children. No, that was a different thing. I'm not even going to go about that. I'm not even going to go there. Anyway. Um... Here's something interesting. Looney Tunes. Have you seen it lately, Wig? Um, no, I've seen a couple episodes, but not lately, no. <laughs> Sorry, we're too busy. We're eating Pop-Tarts in here. I'm just saying, the uh, what's the one with the monster <laughs> that you kept telling me? The red monster? Wait, wait, let him do it. He does it good. Monster, the red monster. Yeah, it was uh, the one... That, uh, <laughs> Monsters are such interesting people. In, yes, that's when he's doing the hair and he does his nails. And he's doing just the interesting people. You're going to want to let that set. Oh, this will never do. Well, Emily's been um, taping Looney Tunes. And I can't even imagine how many times I've seen certain episodes. I'm still laughing just as hard as I did when I was little. When I watched it on Saturday mornings with my dad. Now we could watch it every day. And I had my little my little neighbor over. She's four years old, and she's so sweet. And she was sitting next to me. I had my arm around her, and we're watching Looney Tunes, and she's laughing hysterical. She, so, so, so you, you just sit around and watch cartoons all day is what you're telling us? No. Yeah. No, that's not true. It's Nothing true. else except just cartoons. That's not true. I go through mm-hmm. my son's room when he's not there, and I look at all of this stuff. Oh, yeah, that, that makes I sense. know. I see her. <laughs> I don't what do. she doesn't know is that I go through her drawers. <gasps> oh! <laughs> She knows. He's up in my drawers. Oh, snap. Snap, crackle, and pop. I wanted to. Right, I was, I'm going to put him outside of camera view so nobody can see him. That's, there he's we go. a good boy. See yeah. that nice? Look Just at saying, that. Like, look, here, here, this is better. We can't see him now when he does that oh, yeah thing. Does uh, Except for a little bit. So, all right, do we'll you want to talk about... Uh, do you, Excuse yourself. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Do you want to talk about your band? I in a burp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Do you want... No, I was talking to the audience. Are you but... talking to me? All right, all right. Tell your us mom. a little bit about your band. Um, I just got a guitarist, and I have a drummer, and I'm still looking for a bassist. I have a keyboardist who can also play guitar. Um, the band's name is Crimson, and we're setting up currently a Kickstarter account and trying to raise $3,000. For that and within a month we still have to make the video for it though so it's not up yet but it should be up soon um yeah we're still working on it but it oh. should be good what uh what's what are some of your uh favorite bands or inspirations that you nirvana that you like nirvana <laughs> I love nirvana. well i know you 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 were you were doing what was it come as you are yeah yeah you were right before we left the house right before we left the house you were uh playing american woman hold on a second you want to see if it's tuned ahead play us some stuff i don't think you are so not touching my abba records so like i love this app your mom Do you have that out. old one that had all the voices on it that we did before, or no? Oh my God! I it's I think it's on the computer, but I can't even log on to the computer. Um, so shoot, shoot I, people. I have it somewhere, but that one was so I with the mouse. Oh my God! That stuff was so funny. We got it. That was just awesome. But it, oh my God! <laughs> you're so fat that Can your you that? fat has fat. I've been playing with this one for a couple of days. It's been. Is, it's it, is f- it your voice just changed or what? It's it's my voice, and then I changed the pitch and the tone. Nice. And if I talk like a valley girl, it makes me sound super gay. It's and I can't stop doing it because it's funny. That's off. It's 
so. Go ahead, just try. I'm only gonna be using the top ones. Okay. Go ahead. Nirvana, you wanted? Go ahead, try. That sounds pretty sweet, for especially since the guy that wrote it and sang. American woman. Stay away. You sound surprisingly not as the same as as Lenny Kravitz. It's really <laughs> <a> <laughs> weird. He's <a> guitar, <laughs> <laughs> and he's white, so big difference. Very I true. got my yeah. electric. At even home. even though Lenny Kravitz is father's white. But um, good job. Don't don't tell him that. <laughs> Why not? I'm being uh, per- I'm being yeah, bro, supportive. You he will believe that. Yeah, bro. See, Come on, let's go. That. That's the second time he said that. <laughs> That's the third. Why are you? Why aren't you counting better? See, look at this. That's why he's like this. Not for nothing. But are you talking to me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love this app. Terrible. Your daughter's shoes are colorful. Just an update. Oh, good. From the other room here. Toot toot next up, my thighs. I can't help it. I could I could hear her through the the microphone. Well, because I have the microphone on and she's speaking and she's not too far away from me. That's how I that works. Isn't that interesting? How sound travels sometimes to a, a microphone that happens to be in the same area. Give me a call when you can. Okay. I'm trying. That was your mother, wasn't it? Yes. Hi, Sharon. Give me a call. Bye. It's the same thing. Hi, Sharon. Give me a call. Bye. She Hi, always Sharon. does that. She's mother from Port Pitsy, Florida. Give me a call back, all right? Take a loud. Okay, bye. I have it as loud as I can go already. Uh, I turned it up. Don't oh, worry. my goodness. She's giving me a crown. Oh, Thank no, you. Don't put that on. Why? It's all nasty. What's all nasty? The inside of it. Okay. So... Yeah. It looks like it used to have foam on it or something, that's all. It, it possibly did. Okay. It, I, it I wasn't have, good foam. I have, a, I have a feeling that you've have you've worn this crown before. Not on purpose, but possibly yes. Okay. We're going to go ahead you, and put you the You now crown. have your daughter sitting next to you, just so you know. Okay. So you don't freak out when you turn to the other side. Hiya. Hello. Is her mic on? I think so. Yay. you got to speak right into the mic. Hi. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now. Speaking to it again, Emily. Speak. Hi, Gwiggy. Hi, 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 Gwiggy. Hi. Okay. Now, hi. Um, she's uh, recently, today, awesome. started her first job at school. Why don't you tell everybody what you started at school today? I. Yeah, out, the, right into the microphone. I'm the weather girl, and I'm very She's proud the smart of ass. It. Hey, watch your mouth. You're the weather girl? <laughs> go ahead. Explain it. Go ahead. Who's yeah, weather? Speak into the microphone. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Speak into the microphone. Go ahead. G- give us a demonstration of your weathering abilities. Yeah, what'd you do today? Show us. It's gonna rain. <laughs> Stop. Let her let her talk. Okay, go ahead. Well, it is a high of eighty eight degrees. There it will be um scattered. Isolated thunderstorms in the late afternoon and really shout. I don't know. Don't be, don't be shy. I don't have my script. You don't have your script. Oh, oh, you had a script man. for the weather girls. You just script? had to no, fake I, it. How did you do it earlier? No, I have to write it myself. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it's gonna be high of eighty-eight today. Scattered uh, tea storms. It's <laughs> <laughs> we have our uh, black friend to the right that likes to scream out certain You're going to get zapped! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we have a pressure coming in from the south and it's moving. Lots of pressure! <laughs> it's, moving, it's moving a little Smell bit. Smell bad! East. <laughs> oh, dear God, help me. This is, this is fun. I'm sorry for your we, loss. Th- thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to um, make a phone call on air, which... May or may not be received very well. Who, who are you calling? Mom. I'm calling Ghostbusters. Oh, good. We need to get rid of the two that are next to you. Pick, pick up the phone. I was racist. Stop yelling. Stop yelling. 
I know you watch and pick up the phone. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> you, you want me to call you? Well, I'm over here in the other room, so it wouldn't do much good. Please leave your name, your phone number, and a brief message after tone. Thank you. I got this. Hello, we are looking for Marilyn Nolan. Uh, this is the police. We understand you have probably done a horrible act uh, and are apparently stealing orange juice <laughs> that you are claiming is your own. When we know for a fact that you do not have the amounts of orange juice that you're stealing from individuals within your township, please go directly to jail and turn yourself in or we will be there very soon. And this is not Monopoly, so there's no go places. Just go to jail <laughs> and sit there for a while. Oh my God, we'll I'm tell crying. you when you can leave. Do not collect $2,000. Thank you. Do not listen to the moron over there either. He's he's from the Jersey Shore, and he's in jail too. Wrong, bro. He's in jail eating pretzels I'm for hanging some up. reason. I'm hanging up. Stop screaming. Okay. I think we're going to have a portion of the show where, uh, Sean, you're going to leave. And uh, we're going to have Emily switch places with you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Take your Sprite. Well, I got to come back, right? You get Probably to come back in a, little, in a little while, maybe. But uh, you're gonna, it's time for you to leave. I Take feel the, special now. Emily, Yay. you are special. Oh, the first day of school. This is the family had, show today. Well, um, the first day of school, I had to write the short bus. You had to write the short bus? Yes, I did. Did I you feel special? Yes, I did. I'm not surprised, Sean. Not surprised at all. Okay, if you... Excuse me? Yeah. Why? No. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Would you would you like to come sit over here or would you want to stay over here? Yes, yeah, so huh? sit on the other side. You want, to, you want to sit on the other side that way we could see you a little bit better, okay? Come on over. Okay, we get to see the wonderful little Emily. There's like a here we go. Okay. You gotta put the microphone. Uh, Wait, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. There you go. Hi, everyone. That's right. Now we could hear you, okay? Hi. Okay. So, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I'm very proud of you, number one. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's our little thing. Yeah. Um, um she's. Can, can we throw up now, or do we have to <laughs> wait until you do that again? She's my little girl. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, redhead hour. What would you like oh. to talk about? I miss my cats. You miss your kitties? I miss my, I, I miss my cats. You need to speak into the microphone. I miss my cats and I want them now. Okay. You know, you can't take them everywhere with you. That makes me mad. Uh, yeah. It's 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 pretty creepy. So, <laughs> I don't want you to be Catwoman. Okay? <laughs> Wonder Woman comes before Catwoman. I just got to tell you. How was school today? It was awesome. How's, how's middle school? It's fun. Yeah? It's super duper extremely fun. Who is that? Someone knocking on the door? Knocking no. knock. How's this? So how do you like middle school? It's fun. So All uh, my teachers are awesome. And I don't like math, but my teacher makes it fun. Oh, that's nice. Okay. His name is Mr. Mac. Mr. Mac? Mm -hmm. Mr. Mac uh, teaches math? No, his name is Mr. McIntyre. Oh, we call okay. Him Mr. Mac. Okay, okay. So, you... Um, now this is this is interesting. Tell close. everybody what you want to do when you grow up. I want to own a cat cafe. A cat cafe. <laughs> uh, and explain to everybody what a cat cafe is. <laughs> a cat cafe um originated in Japan and it's still and someone tried to move it over to America and they're too shy so they didn't do it. Well, a cat cafe is just a normal place where a bunch of cats are and and you pay to and you pay to spend some time with cats, and you get to give them free treats and play with them, and give them all the catnip you want, and you get to watch them bounce off the walls. Okay, so you have to pay to do this. What's stopping someone from just going down a back alley and playing with some strays? Well, because all these kitties, um, well, um, these cats won't scratch your eyes out. How do you know? Because you have to train them for. They start there from when you're kittens. You ha you can't just get cats from there. You have to start them from when they're kittens. And you so these cats are, are spayed and declawed and neutered and all of that, and and may, and they have no ticks? This is from Japan? 
Yeah. And you said it's a cafe. Are they serving food while there's fur everywhere? Coffee. They're serving coffee. Yeah, but you're not allowed to have coffee around the cat. Okay, that's going to be too confusing. So, are there any pastries or deli items in this uh, cafe of mm-hmm. yours? There are. Yes, okay, so you're mixing is. food with animals now. What if what if someone tries to feed? Oh, it's all the food there has to be cat safe, just in case. Cat safe. Mm-hmm. But what if they? What okay? What food is cat safe, Emily? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, bread is like ch- is like the junk food to cats. But it doesn't harm them. It's so like, coffee and bread, pretty much. <laughs> sounds pretty like, good. Uh, like Cinnabon, stuff like that. That's what they give yeah. to the everyone at the RNC, I heard. <laughs> coffee and stale bread. <laughs> Maybe, you know, just in case they I break mean, a tooth. we're not feeding ducks. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I, oh, I see you now. Hello. Yeah, the oh, camera's in the well. corner. Okay, then. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Guess what? What? You have a poke on your shoulder. I, you can't get it off now. Oh. It, it's there forever. Wait, did you find this at, at school? No. Okay. No. Okay. You're neat. I got a call coming in. Okay. We got a call coming in. Welcome to Seriously Silly with Sharon. Who is this? Yo, 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 yo. I am Russian Construction Company. Russian Construction Company? Uh, how, how can I assist you? What's your name? Yes, yo. I, I... I am this American Russian, and I was just wondering how to be rats out of wool because nobody like help Russian. Is like a Russian on the Hudson, eh? For what I live in Hudson. Russian? Eh? Uh, you mean Moscow on the Hudson with Rob Williams? Moscow on Hudson. Yes. It's an American movie. Bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's your what's your question today? How do you get rats out How of wool? How do you get rats out of wool? How do you get rat out of wool? <laughs> I have trouble knowing I can't. Uh, I sit there and I drink my potato vodka. <laughs> they come in, they feel a blue slips when I look. And they get drunk, they're popping in the wall. It's not, it's not good. Okay. I cannot help you. Okay, you know what? I think I may be able to help you. What's your name, sir? Yeah, I am a Russian person. You are a Russian person. <laughs> okay, you know what? I know you want to keep yes, your identity. My first name is Russian. Okay, I'm go- I think <laughs> you want to keep your uh, personality, uh, your identity uh, uh, secret. So we're just call you Vladimir, okay, Vladimir? Yeah, I, Vladimir. Vladimir. See, uh, I do not want more rats come into a house. Uh, you think the rats are listening yeah, right now? They like party in there. They like to party, yes? Yeah, they do not know. They know where I live. They, they track me. <laughs> Okay. All right, Vladimir, I'm going to do you a solid by talking to you in your own voice so you could try to understand uh, the tip I'm about to give you, okay? Yes. Okay, listen, Vladimir, I want you to go <laughs> to get potato vodka, and I want you to get big sledgehammer and paste with pe- peanut butter. Smear all over the wall. So I put on mouse trap. I've tried mouse trap. They seem to just no, no, quiet. Net, yeah, quiet. Net, net. No mouse trap. Mouse trap is uh, for children's. Okay? Is you need to they get... They are tiny. <laughs> How big are the rats, Vladimir? <sighs> are, are you drunk now, Vlad? I have been drunk for the past several days, yes. For several I days. I have not been sober for a long time. Oh, I that's sad. I do not know when last time I could read the clock correctly. You couldn't read the clock? Um, Maybe you should get a digital I if you're going to drink. Remember. <laughs> All right. You know what? I think the best bet is to probably call an extermination uh, company. I call exterminator. He's a crazy. They say, oh, I want a brush and it's like an American movie. Um, As it turns out, I do not read American language. Maybe you should put something in there that would eat the rats then. Maybe some some snakes. How about that? A cat. cat? I would, I would, but it just ends up biting me instead. Are these like New York City rats? Because they're big as cats. The sewer rats in New York City, yeah, they're huge. They're huge. 
They if, don't like me. If they, they bite uh, you, if they, they bite you, you're going to get... Me, they act like they love me and just like I'm afraid of them. And they eat it, they bite me in the hand. Okay. Well, I, I really feel for you. I'm really sorry that you're getting bitten in the hand by these humongous rats in your walls. Uh, uh, no, no. I say cats bite me in hand as I try to eat it. You try to eat the cat. Okay, now. Okay, like, well. Well, of course I try to eat the cat. It's there, you see there. Yes, yes, I see, number 23. Um, okay, so don't eat the cat. I live in, I live in part of Russia that is right on the border of China. Ah, but, oh, so that makes sense. That's why everyone's eating rats and cats. Okay, well, maybe you could fry them up, or you could just set on, set, get your stuff out of your I apartment. I fry, but I am drunk, and they get drunk, and they have wild it's coffee, perfect. like American Pie movie I've Listen, never seen. Listen, this is all you have to do. American. This is uh, all you have to do, is just knock over your potato vodka, light a match, and then just, uh, you know, set the fir- place on fire. I'm afraid of fire. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna hang up with Vlad, and um, thank you for calling. Oh, no. good good luck. No, with... I have no one else to talk to. Gwig, shut off, Vlad. Don't make me sad. Okay. Thank Why you. are you sad? Thank you for um sharing this time with I, us, Emily. I don't know if I like you. You said the bird and cat. I no, no, no. Like the house anymore. for the rats. Okay, you time to grab you, you who, and I don't, I'm not very time to grab you, you who, and thank you for sharing this time with us and Bye telling everybody. us all about. I feel awesome. Okay, okay. you are awesome, Emily. Yeah. Thank you for coming Bye. in, sweetie. Good girl. Okay, Yay. grab your you who. Time Bye-bye. to go. <sighs> time to get off, mommy show. Okay, we're having a little redhead leave, and the big one is staying. And we have a special guest today. In our studio, some guy named Frank. Sean, where are you doing? Where are you going? Nothing. I was just—I just passed this guy named Vladimir. He was complaining about some cats. And some yeah. Mice and everything. Out. Switch. Oh. What? I have a guest. Switch. Oh, I, switch. Least? Nope. Switch. Out. Can I sit? No. Next to you? No. What? You had your chance. Hey. I have no. no. You had your chance. I have you serious? Okay. You know what? Can you put me to a commercial for a second? We're going to go to a quick commercial and everything. That way I could uh, discipline the little two little sweethearts here. And we'll be right back in a second after Greg puts me to a commercial. Come on, this is sad. I'm oh, sad. I know. It's sad, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not. It's homework time.
Welcome back to Seriously Silly with Sharon. You're listening to your local comedian, Sharon Nolan, and I have a guest in the studio, some guy named Frank. Hello, people. <laughs> I want to take their picture. Okay, take yeah, take the picture of the, the people. Hello, yeah. peoples. We're having a malfunction. <laughs> I still got it. See? I still got it. Nice. <laughs> okay. You want, to see, you want to see what I snapped on the way in here? What'd you snap? I'm sorry, the masses. You cannot see this. I may post this on my Facebook, which is great incentive to become my friend. Not that, obviously. The spy cam. There you go. There's the spy cam in the corner. It's always watch. Big Brother. Okay, okay so I, does Frank have know, a last name? I have no, yeah, anonymous. Were you just some guy? Some guy named Frank. That's fine. <laughs> just some guy named Frank. Anonymous was taken. I would have went with anonymous. Oh, we're just. We don't know who has it, obviously. <laughs> okay, so. Look, I'm sorry. You were you were starting a sentence. I came. Oh, in. that's okay. That's okay. I was just I just wanted to know a little bit more about you and it, just let the used audience to that because my mind's all over the place. You that's know. okay. My, my blood I have several is, minds. My blood type's ADD positive. <laughs> and we could totally work with that. But but you know so you know here's right outside your beautiful oh, domain. Oh yes. Here. The, the visitor's I could see parking sign. Wig's car right over there. Okay. And the tree directly behind yes. the visitor's parking nice sign. Nice tree with a nice knot. Visitors parking, unless you're some guy named Frank. Yeah. Because then you're going to back into it. Uh, See? Get your magnifying glass. <laughs> What's and my then, car doing in his picture? Uh, I don't know, but we're going to we're gonna hunt you down. I know where you live. Well, were well, we supposed to do that with permission only? Wiggy's car, by permission only. <laughs> Otherwise. Don't worry, your license plate's covered up. Reproduction prohibited. But look, I caught a, caught a bag on the way in. That is That's, interesting. I bagged a bag. Bagged a bag. Yep, I I got out of the I got out of the the car, and it's an old smell from oh, the fires it, in the backyard. Was it was it like burning plastic? It smelled. Yeah, melted plastic smell. Oh jeez. Childhood memories rush. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit uh, more about you. Uh, some guy named Frank. Some guy named Frank. Um, speak a little bit a little bit closer to the microphone. There we go. Closer to the mic. That's perfect. Come to me, Mike. Come to me. Some guy named Frank. Uh, has. Always enjoyed humoring people. Oh, well, good. As we have know. something in common. Good. We're in the right place. <laughs> cool. You know, humor is a way of connecting with people. Yes, it is. It's also uh, good way of uh, opening conversation and uh, making light of everything. Yeah, I did, did comedy in churches for two years, 94 to 96, mm-hmm. and started pretty quick. Um, I, I was asked to do a greeting at the church I, I went to, and I wrote a five-minute five monologue greeting. Complete with uh, balloon props. <laughs> do you do balloon? Purple. No, no, no. Twist no, them no. or okay. Oh, I've done water balloon animals. <laughs> do you but, throw them at but the, the parish? <laughs> but the kid, the kid I made it for almost drowned. So <laughs> nobody, nobody would insure me for water balloon animals. <laughs> I said, you know, what's the next? Because in America, we're always looking for the next level of whatever it is, and you know, balloon animals. Yeah, but what's next? <laughs> okay and i found out that's not the way to go no i guess not um so, so i did churches for two years i'm sorry like i said tangents all over no place. that's we're gonna, okay we're gonna that's be okay. all over the place don't try that's to, fine don't try to chart or graph this i did a church once please do tell. once <laughs> do tell. <laughs> so bad it was so bad everybody um was at least 85 or older yeah, but I- but it just they were very I don't know if they were tired or they had too much medication. I don't know what it was, but, um, you know, it, it was also hard because I had a cast on my leg that time and I was on crutches. I was very, I was very uncomfortable. Um, it was, I was in a lot of pain at the time. I was kind of hopping. I, when I'm on stage, I walk around and I like to talk to the, and I was, I was very immobile and it felt very weird for me. So yeah, well, I imagine that's a distraction. And plus, it was it was a bit of a distraction. I, I didn't will, like it very much. And I will tell you, at age forty-seven, I'm tired. Can't, <laughs> can't imagine being almost double that. You're AD, almost dead. Yeah, I'm only nineteen. Uh so <laughs> no. Um, uh, so what what kind of places? Uh, what do you where do you uh, play at now? Do you have any uh, gigs coming up or anything you'd like to promote? Actually, actually, at the moment, I'm a decent five minute comic. Okay. How's, how does that grab you? Okay, so you're a good guest set then. Yeah, I'm a good guest set. Okay. You know, you know, I like I like the slam radio thing because you know, comics of all levels. I mean, headliners have been through the studio, and you know, I've done the church thing. I've done twenty to thirty five minutes of comedy, and that was a long time ago. That was another lifetime ago. And what happened was, you know, um, 
when when you follow God, God will have no rivals. Well, comedy became my God and place him. You know, I became obsessed. I became too focused with it. I uh, spent too much time with comedy and not enough time with God. And he removed that from my life. Let's yeah. just put it that way. But the good thing is, you know, I was willing to let it go. In 96, I realized, you know, things don't seem to be going in the, the direction. So, you know, I got on with my life. And But I've always humored people, you know. I I believe if you have the gift to be able to humor people, it's not just about being on a stage. No, it's not. You know, I, you know, whether I'm in line at the grocery store or wherever, I, you know, it's a great humor breaks down barriers. It breaks the ice. You know, I introduced myself to some guy named Frank and people. Mm-hmm. What are these? I used to introduce myself. I'm Frank. Don't worry, I'm harmless or something like that. <laughs> You know, a quick one-liner to put him at ease. You know, I realized pretty early on that humor is a deflector. Mm-hmm. I remember a bully chasing me on the playground at, like, fifth grade. and Not chasing me, but threatening me, and I humored my way out of it. <laughs> Do you remember what you said? Oh, something stupid. I don't know. <laughs> it had to be stupid. It was fifth grade. Yeah, well, I was, I was like that, too, ever since I was uh, four years old. And I was most humorous in the little yearbooks and little elementary school, middle school and things like that. And I just, uh, even, even if it was in the hospital, I always started joking around with the nurses or anybody else. And and last time I was in the hospital, um, I had a blood transfusion. I needed three bags of blood. So it was pretty, I was pretty immobile. I couldn't move and really speak or do much. I was just lying there and I was in the hospital for a week. And at one point, one of my friends had called and it was like 11 o'clock at night. And he's like, hey, anyone come down and everything. We want to hang out. Yeah. I was like, no, uh, visiting times are over. And he goes, well, what's all that noise in there? I had like five or six nurses. They were all hanging out in my room because I was joking around. Even though I was like, uh, I couldn't move or anything. I had my book. I couldn't read. I couldn't even, you know, play with my yarn because I love to crochet. But it, I was just, I was cracking jokes. I was still cracking jokes. More plasma jokes, please. More <laughs> plasma jokes. You're killing us. I was ragging on this guy. He's telling me, oh, I used to do this on the chopper in the army. Don't worry about it. And he put it in. And he was fishing for a vein. And I was cursing and screaming into a pillow. I was like saying all these things like, shut the front door. But it was, it was just, <laughs> and he was like, yeah, you on a chopper? Maybe we should get back on a chopper because it, it was just killing me. They can't find a vein on me. Now, I went to visit somebody in the hospital a few months ago, and I told them the only reason I came was to see the helicopter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and, and we may have to cut this out. Probably not, but I told nah, them. Nah, there's no FCC them, rules. Fine. No, it's, it's fairly harmless, but it, some may call it a little bit. Mm, some guy named Frank said that. But okay. I told him I was there to get my circumcision reversed. <laughs> 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 hey, tell me you use it. <laughs> stage that's a good one no, that's a good one use that totally <laughs> i don't think that'll go well there is there is talk of circumcision was symbolic in the bible so but you know i probably best leave that one alone. <laughs> that's funny though i like that but but while we're in that region i will i will back up a little history wise um first episode ever <laughs> which region <laughs> for <laughs> that region yes that region we're not going to use it in appropriate in inappropriate ways, people. You no, know, my mother don't, is don't listening. Don't tune out. Don't tune out. Tune Mom, in. Don't tune out. Mom, it's cool. <laughs> Some wife named Frank. It's cool. You've probably heard this before. Like three years old in church, um, my brother, who was who, who is twenty months older than me, he got to go to a certain Sunday school class that I didn't get to go to, mm-hmm. and I was very jealous of this. So when they came to take him, when it was time for him to go and leave to go to his class. I got so jealous, so enraged, I yelled out at the top of my lungs, You penis man! <laughs> so that was my first one-liner ever in church. <laughs> in church, that's great. Oh, yeah. my God. But I was a minor. I'm not responsible for that action. And I'm never going to reenact that. You know, it's really funny. My little girl, she's so sweet. She doesn't know how to curse correctly. So... When her brother gets her really angry and he says, like, nasty stuff, she'll come back with, you're a butthole. That's good enough. You know. I was like, that's, you know what, that's the worst thing she's ever come out of her mouth. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. They, so, hear, they hear it all the time. That's the problem. So you, yeah. so you said you started back in uh, 90, 94. To, 94? To 96. And then I let it go. It put a strain on the marriage. And it, just, it goes I back just, and I forth. I out of balance. Yeah. But what happened was... um. Some wife named Frank, number one, went away eventually, and um, 
I met some wife named Frank number two, Jeanette, who's a wonderful lady, and I love you, and there's your shameless plug for the evening. <laughs> She's That's very so supportive. Sweet. But what happened in, in 2009, I had a friend of mine, we played pranks back and forth on each other. Okay. I'd gone out of town for the weekend. He bought off my nephew with a six-pack of Mountain Dew and a pizza to, to let him into my dwelling. <laughs> he, he brought a compressor and 2,000 balloons. Shredded paper, <laughs> confetti, and I come home and balloons start coming out the front door. Oh, that's awesome! That's so he thought so, it was awesome. That's yeah, so much fun. <laughs> I've just, got I've got pictures of them. That's so cool. on Facebook. Just these guys just buried in balloons and thinking they're <laughs> all that and then some because oh, we got him. That's a cute prank though. That's really cute. Yeah. It's, not well, like... it's, it's my friend Jimmy Crack. Um, his his real name is Jim Ford, but he dresses himself as Jimmy Crack Ford. <laughs> but I recently gave him a name he really is fond of, a more formal name, a more serious sounding name, which is James Crackford. Ah, oh, James and Crackford. He, James Crackford. I think I know. I remember James Crackford. So I have him to thank for um, stirring up the creativity in me because what happened was he does this prank. Okay, my turn. What what do I do? Okay, I go to his house, I wait till nobody's home, or I wait till they're asleep, do something, make a mess, something like that. Mm. No, he's going to be expecting that. You know, he'll have guards posted there. I think, okay, internet, internet. Make him a web, make a website about him. Mm. He mentions one day, you know, I'm not into that Facebook thing. Cha-ching! Mm-hmm. Made him a Facebook page that he didn't know about for five months. <laughs> and, and... I got him all kinds of friends. I got him 98 friends before I told him about it. Oh, my God. That's funny. Yeah, and uh, he, he didn't seem to care at first, but then I started mentioning names of people I had as his friends. And he turns to me once he, he, we're driving, and he says, She's on there? You idiot. <laughs> that, was, that, that, was, that was victory right there. I said, yeah. That's so awesome. So are you uh, actively playing any churches right now, or do you no. want to? Do you have any uh, interest in doing that? Uh, doing what? I'm sorry. Or going, uh, like doing any more uh, church gigs or maybe doing some open mics or? Mm, comedy clubs are not really drawn to, to be honest with you. Mm. There's plenty of other places comedy is needed. I mean, the hospital. I'd love to, love to crack I've, that egg. I, I would, oh God, I've been wanting to do that for so long. And I, I just, I'm not sure where to begin or yeah. how to. You know what I'm saying? I, I've, you know, ever since I saw Patch Adams, I was, uh, when that came out, I was like, that's what I was yeah, so going to do that. I'm sure you'd be awesome in that I would love, I would love to do that. I remember my, when my, uh, my grandmother was real sick, she came right out of, um, brain surgery. And, uh, I, I'm wondering sometimes if, if that's like the last time she laughed or not, but I, I had her, uh, I had her had laughing, going, huh? had her laughing right out awesome. of surgery. Awesome. But and even, was, even hospice, you know, I've got some. I've got some jokes. You know, we're all going. You people just have a better idea of when. <laughs> you know, I'm sure that by that stage, they face the reality that, yeah, I'm on my way. You know, and I could do jokes about, you know, I'm going to be buried in a sleep number casket. I'm going to be cremated. And I'm going to have my ashes scattered into my casket. Hmm. See how it goes. <laughs> sleep number casket. A sleep number casket. I'm going to have. Did you come up with that? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> If I borrow something from somebody else, I will. Um, yeah, that no, I, will I know. I, I know. It's. <laughs> I. That's awesome. <laughs> like I said, I'm at a 46, and he's at a 29. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the remote put in the top of the tombstone. And come by. <laughs> you can decide what my sleep number should be. Oh my god. Just, That's funny. Just stop when it's a pitcher's man. You know, stop at pitcher's Temper, man. Temperpedic uh, <laughs> caskets. That's I've never heard any of this stuff. Why you got to do this stuff on stage? Yeah, and uh, you know, so I got some jokes along that line, the lines of that. Like I'm gonna have my funeral at night. That that way, all the cars will have to drive with their lights off, or you know, I'm gonna have it two years after I die because I've always been a procrastinator. So, <laughs> simple stuff. <laughs> And this is good stuff. A bunch more I can't think of at the moment, but you know, you know, there's a whole lot of places that comedy is needed besides comedy clubs because comedy clubs are just bars, and I, everyone's clawing their way to get in it. I know, for no I know, money. I know. You step aside. There's a million right behind you. I, I've gone through that whole thing, 
and uh, you know the places that I play now mostly are more more along the lines of smaller venues and you know sometimes bars here and there but um it's it really is a different type yeah. of 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 environment uh especially even even the difference from doing improv to stand up even though it's i think it's helped you know with the other the improvs helped with the stand up oh absolutely i'd love to take an improv class because it's fun i started in 6th grade my mom oh, awesome. put me in improv classes in somebody's awesome. basement cuz i grew up in new york and um Said improv or trumpet lessons, which will it be? <laughs> My daughter's just starting trumpet lessons. <laughs> Out of everything, I have a clarinet student. No, she's played piano. She, now she wants trumpet, so starting trumpet. Yeah, cool. You know, you know. Uh, on a more controversial note, uh, Dan Cathy, who you know, the whole Chick Fil A thing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's we were talking a, about that. I trumpet, think a week or two ago. He's a trumpet player. Oh, is he? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, I went and saw him speak at a church, and he played with the band few tunes beforehand really so i made some kind of joke about his trumpet playing and i can't remember what it is is he from florida no he's from uh georgia oh, okay atlanta area i didn't mean to get controversial on you people it's no, just a that, trumpet that wasn't that trumpet wasn't reference it wasn't even funny when i think of the trumpet joke and how it relates to that i'll post it <laughs> my apologies no i did not know that i know they uh we mentioned that a couple of weeks ago we were just talking about how the uh, rnc was in town oh here's your shoes yeah. Oh, By yeah, the way, I know, what, I know what it was. I think I said about Dan Cathy. You know, I went to hear him speak. I don't remember. Yeah, he played. He spoke and he played the trumpet. I think I said, um, don't, don't remember much of what he said, but I did start taking trumpet lessons. <laughs> Simple, stupid stuff. But he blew know. a lot of hot air. <laughs> so, <laughs> Whoa, we're not hello. Going. Um, so. Are these a prop or are these your actual oh, shoes? My shoes, they need to air out a little bit. They they're, needed they're damp. to air out. That is awesome. Are you? They're damp. They're, well, oh, the next they, question is going to be, why are they damp? I was just going to say, does he have an extra pair? No, he's wearing socks. That's okay. Yeah, I rushed to get here. You know, I didn't have time to make a shoe consideration like a woman does. <laughs> Yes. Do you all plan for the week when you do that? No, and not at all. It takes me two seconds. I don't care. Um, I, I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not a shoe girl. I don't care. Shoe, 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 uh, shoe, 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 shoe. The, you know what I can't stand? Women that buy $300 coach bags. Yeah. What a waste of money. Seems... Waste of money. Now you have no money for your wallet. It's, I don't, I. Um, All the money's on the outside. Yeah. I just, I don't get it. Yeah, me I'm, neither. I'm very fortunate. Some wife named Frank. No jewelry. Low. No, I don't care. I just. Uh, no, not... it's cool. Some wife named Frank is very low maintenance. Some former wife named Frank, kid you not, at any given time. She's got bags of stuff in her vehicle that she's taken back. She took home, tried on, decided that she didn't want it. And we used to joke about it, so it's not malicious at all. It's mm -hmm. just, that's where, that's where some women are in life. Okay, he's giving me some kind of... Hey, we got a phone call coming in. Thank you for listening to Seriously Silly with Sharon. Who am I speaking to? Where's my money? Where's your money? <laughs> you know what this is about. <laughs> Uh, yes, I do believe. I think this is my son asking for some allowance. Yeah. Not <laughs> the son that was just in here? Yes. And this probably belongs to him? No, actually, that was in the corner. His is at home. Okay, I was going to say, we have a hostage here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would have been really good. But, um... Hey, hey, hey can, I, can, I, can I come on air and do something? Because I'm bored and I'm just sitting in there. What do you want to come on the air and do? I don't know. Just small talk. Small talk? Is that a new show? Small I can talk hear show. You on the other side of the door. Okay. So um we are about to end the show in just a couple of minutes. So save your small talk for the ride home, okay? Oh, can I just pop in and out and do something really stupid? No, we don't want you to do something <laughs> real you Those just, were the days. Can I please? He's always doing You're something stupid. Now we'll 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 talk to you in a little bit later, Sean. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. How old is he? Fourteen. Uh, <laughs> nice. He those just are turned days. fourteen. He should, he should be buried in Minecraft. What's he doing bothering you? <laughs> Minecraft. 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 Have you heard of Minecraft? It's a, it's a, an Computer online game. video game, and it's he these loves... nether worlds, and it's got really good ratings as far as being harmless, but very addictive. My son they, is he's, into it. He's into a whole bunch of stuff. He has um, uh, he loves comic books. Iron Man's his favorite. Cool. And um. They both have a whole bunch of different hobbies. So, well, how old are That's your good. kids? I have one son. He's 13. 
13, yeah. Well, he he just turned 14, just started high school. So I'm proud of him. I can't wait to see what he looks like when he eventually cuts his hair. <laughs> you know, mine, he had long hair and he didn't want to cut it. And he's he's so handsome. And, uh, you know, we left it up to him, put the thing, the thing in his hands and his hair was getting really, really long. And he said it was the style. And but then he, he finally cut it. And it's a beautiful haircut now because you could see his nice face. Yeah, so. I do a little bit about my son when I do comedy, you know, I tell him he got the straight A's last year. The beatings have finally paid off. Oh, good. See, that's a grapple punishment it, all the way. And it goes to, he did have problems with improper fractions, so I dropped him off at Fifth Third Bank for two years. <laughs> that, one always, that one always goes over good. <laughs> but one time on the other church I was going to, uh, they used to pick families from, from the congregation to do the greeting. And, and my son was little. He's still in my arms, and they chose us to do the greeting. And um. I explained to the congregation that his name is Noah Joseph and uh, Noah in Spanish. I can't can't make this up. Is no way N O E accent over the E. (laughs) Joseph in Spanish is Jose. 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 So in Spanish he's no way. No way. Jose. (laughs) Took me a second. Yeah, that one. That one usually goes good. So, um, yeah. have you ever made, do you have, uh, any other than Facebook, do you have, um, a website or anything like that at all? I got a, some guy named frank.com website. I'm pretty excited. Um, the shoes are there. I was out today training my replacement. I just sold my pressure washing business. Oh yeah. For 10 years, I have been a slave to my pressure washing business. It's been good for the most part, but over the last couple of years, it's made me pretty weary and fatigued. It's what happens when you get old, my friends. I can imagine. He's gesturing you again. Okie dokie. Yeah. Does that mean we're done? I think we have a couple more. But the shoes. Do I have time for you, you want? You, you have want a couple me to more. On the shoes? Yeah, yes. Indulge us on yeah, the I shoes. I just sold my pressure washing business, which was a blessing because I've been praying for over a year. I, I, I'm done. I'm ready. And my old neighbor approached me and said, You know, I want to buy your business. And now I'm out showing him the ropes. And before I came here, I uh, had to show him some ropes. Dressed in my street clothes. This and is twine. This is string. No, <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. Actually, help. actually, I had to show him some hoses because in pressure washing, you got hoses. For and that pressure. goes right back to the circumcision joke. I mean, right? No. <laughs> this, this one has direction. This okay. Has direction. Okay. And he has, I have hoses for water. I've told this one a bunch of times too. And hoses for chemical. No hoses for all kinds of stuff. More hoses in a hip hop video. He's at one in church. One. That's a good one. I mean, yeah, that one. That one's not for the church audience either. Well, my son came home from school, and but he's, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. it's okay. He's having some problems in math, and uh, he came home and told me that five out of four kids were having problems in math. <laughs> Perfect. Tell hmm. that one at fifth third. He's thing. the fifth kid. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, so I'm ending the pressure washing gig, so I'll have more time to dedicate to comedy and you know making some guy named Frank known. To that end, um. You know, you know how important uh, social media is now, Facebook and yeah. all that good stuff, and you know, necessary evil, it seems. LinkedIn so, and yeah, Twitter. So, and I'm not savvy with that stuff, but I realize the need. You know, I've read a part of a book called Platform and how, you know, how to get your voice heard. Well, I I won last week a two-day social media conference by one of the top social media people in the country. Wow. And Congratulations. And some personal t- tutoring. Awesome. Her name is Kim Garst, G-A-R-S-T. Her last name sounds like it's not quite done yet. <laughs> That's She's, awesome. You know, it sounds like her last name got circumcised. You know, it took <laughs> part of it away. Just chop a little bit off and that's it. Yeah. I'm hey. sorry. I, was, I didn't mean to get into circumcision. I'm, oh, no. That's, that's totally fine with this show. Hey, I'm Gwig. i have to come back and do a clean, cleaner version. Hey, Gwig. How much more time we got? Two minutes? Two minutes. Can you do me a favor and tie up my son and put him in the other room? Because he's <laughs> screaming at the door right now. Thank you. He'll take care of me. He's known him since he's a baby. Cool. <laughs> See, you and him go way back, huh? Yeah, I've known him since I'm 19. <laughs> wow, cool. And how old are you kids now, if you don't mind me asking? Why? I'm 36. He's oh. just turned 37. I'll be 37 at the end of the year. That's cool. I'm sorry. The appropriate way to ask age people is, I'm 47. How many years younger are you than me? <laughs> then you get out your calculator and you wait for the answer. <laughs> We've known each other since college. We're good friends. No, he, he does good improv. Yes, he does. Some, I do some improv of his stand, with him. 
some of his stand up um bordered on whoa, I gotta run from the room screaming. <laughs> <laughs> but, earmuffs, but earmuffs. Yeah. <laughs> la, 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 la. But good improv. I think I saw you guys down at that club in St. Pete when they were doing that competition. Oh, Nova 535. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The club that sounds too hip for some guy named Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> that place is so much fun. I love that place. And I go there every every October for Nova Ween. And um, <laughs> I've gone three years in a row. This will be the fourth year. It's a lot of fun. So it's a really, really nice venue. The owner is super nice and everyone that works it, we've never had a problem. Everyone's nice. Cool. Okay. You have to keep me posted on some improv gigs. I'd like to come see that or even learn some of it because, you know, I need to expand my comedy footprint. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, uh, September 9th is uh, Comedy Slam Radio's red carpet event and uh, that's going to be our year party. And... um, for a dinner award shows ten dollars. After parties nine thirty to one a.m. It's only five dollars, and um, the night before, as I see September twelfth, I'll be at the Zone. I'll be headlining there. It's in Tarpon Springs on um, Old U.S. Alternate nineteen. So thank you, some guy named Frank, for coming in and joining us today, and and hopefully we'll be able to get to see you again soon. Yeah, I'd love to hang out. That yes, I'm sorry, I was dry out your shoes. No, it's okay. Yeah, come in. Again. Definitely come in again. And everything, and we could talk some more and. Um, I'll tie up the kids. Okay. (laughs) Thank you for listening and tuning in, everybody, tonight. And um, if you want to watch the show again, go to www.comedyslamradio.com or ustream.tv. That's it. .tv. (laughs) Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. What was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was another fine show from ComedySlamRadio.com, where we put the .com 